shall not offer tribute as one who serves. Then you shall die as one who does not. Aisha is broken. Corruption waxes while the tree wanes. The balance groans in pains of birth. Yet through it all, the song of Aphir has hung in the air. I fear the song is lost forever. Destined to live in memory alone. Uh, what we got? So we got the Root Lash. We have got the Creeping Mist. Okay, still all mostly okay, the same. Also, I did want to show you this, and I want your opinion. Again? So I am using the bow a lot, but I did get this, which is from... Um, actually, you know what? I can unupgrade things, can't I? How do I do that? There we go. Rigs will gladly dismantle any upgraded items, returning all materials used to upgrade them, the item, and half of the scrap. Okay, so you don't get the full scrap back, but that's okay. Okay, I can't upgrade this anymore. I can't upgrade my bow. Okay, well, we've upgraded this quite a bit. It's doing a you bit of damage. So let me show it to you, because I thought this was so sick. Switch this over. Look at this thing. Look at the amount of damage it does. It has such a beefy clip, but look at the mod on it. Ready? So you fire this thing, and basically it builds up this gauge. And when it hits the full one, you do this big thing, and you get unlimited ammo. I know I've obviously got unlimited ammo in here, but if I step back... I don't really want to step out. You get unlimited ammo while this effect is active. And it's doing consistent damage, and it does a bunch of... It's so cool. This is what you get killing the the Taken King in one of the ways. I'm not sure if there's a if there's another way to kill him. So I quite... I think this is quite spiffy. I think it's very, very spiffy, but I am going to switch back to... Actually, no, I'm going to keep this out, actually, because today... Hold on, hang on, wait. Let me actually get a mutator on here. So... First thing we're doing, the reason I'm not going with the bow is because A, I'm not good enough with it yet. And B, <laughs> we're going back to Lassam. And we're going back to the Gilded Chambers. And uh, I read everyone's comments regarding the Red Prince and all the different things you can do. And I have decided, based on where my character is and how I feel about Lassam, at least in this playthrough, I'm taking him out. Actually, I might switch over to the bow just for this part. Because I can't skip straight to the dungeon, unfortunately. So we have to kind of run through. I still love the music in here. It's so good. So I'm going to cut ahead and I'll see you when I am on the other side. Okay, hang on. Someone did mention there's a painting I can break. I think it looks like it'll be over here. Yeah, there's a painting I can break. Hang on. Okay. Oh, God. There's so many more burnout. Dran, what the hell? What is this image? That's not the manor we went to, is it? It looks very similar to that. And they're all looking at... Who's this? Like, they're looking at this. They're looking up. Oh my god. Um... Also, thank you so much. I Thank you so much for the tip to check this place out. I would never have found this. Otherwise, I would have just moved on. Oh god damn it. Okay. Hold on. Executioner? Uh, we are just trying to get back for a second. Buddy, be very careful. Oh no, you're getting so damaged. Okay, just take that. Okay, take that. Take that. Take that. Oh god. Okay, hang on. I'm in. I'm stuck. I'm in water. Oh god, I might die here. I might die here. Okay, quickly run away, run away, come on, come on, come on, come on, move, 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 we gotta move, we gotta move, just keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking! How am I meant to deal with this dude in a corridor like this? Oh god, the double, the double, the double, the double, okay, buddy, get me on the heels! Shit. This is really tough because of the tight corridors, I've got the wrong weapons for this. Oh god. Oh god, yep, buddy, help me out. Buddy, please, please, get me up. Oh my god, what the fuck did I walk into? Okay, quickly, go. 
Hunter's Mark. Go, 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 go. As much damage as possible, as quickly as possible. I'm burning, but that's fine. There we go. Oh. What the fuck was that? Oh my god. I don't like this. You know what? Just because of the tight corridors, switching over to the big boy. Any books I can read? This whole section is straight out of a goddamn nightmare. Hang on. I'm just going to check. Huh? Oh god. No, no, no. Get out of here. What the fuck is going on here? What are these? Oh, there's all new enemies I've never seen before. Okay, hang on. I just want to check back over here. Anything in this room? I'm so sorry, everybody. Oh my god. Is that a meadow? What's all this art down here? Okay, I've got a little room over here. Oh my god, what is this place? Sorry, buddy, I'm coming back. What's this? It's your Nate nice. Flail. Okay, so you do have a back step one. Also, I love this little touch here. This weapon was designed under the assumption that if you break enough bones, it won't matter whether your enemy is actually dead or not. Nice little touch because that was often the benefit of a weapon like this. So like a flail, a mace, a hammer, any of those things, basically, because they don't require a lot of skill, whether you've trained in them or not, if you hit someone, even if they block, even if they have armor, it doesn't really matter. Um, you are probably going to cause some form of damage that doesn't matter whether you actually cut them or do something like that. They require a little less skill. Um, and they can be absolutely devastating. So I love that little touch in the description. Okay. Well, we made it back out. I'm going to continue on. And uh, I'll see you when we get there after this little side tour. Ooh, hang on. We're behind this. Look at the Sapphire Dreamstone. What is this? I need to have a look at my rings again. I need to reassess. The Sapphire Dreamstone. Critical hits. Okay, that could be really good paired with the Hunter. If you shall not offer tribute as one I'm not your subject. Oh god, yep, cursed. I forgot about this shit. I can't heal this. I don't have anything applied. Wait, do I have... Okay, I still don't know how to avoid the fire. I think I gotta like hide underneath the bottom. Oh god, yep, 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 yep. Oh no, curse does go down over time. Okay, I think I gotta hide under here. That's my theory. Oh, no. How do I... How do I not die in that? <laughs> okay, there's a whole bunch of people around. I don't know if I'm supposed to stand in the center. Maybe. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so I gotta stay in here and try and just survive, I guess. He's reduced the battlefield. Can I reload? Okay, we're getting hit quite a bit, that's okay. Okay, we're doing it. Where is he? We reload. There we go. We did it. Unlimited ammo, baby. Oh, shit. I'm going to die. <laughs> You're done. Good night. Forlorn fragment. We did it. Look at this shit go. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! That's right! You scrapped with the 
wrong guy. <laughs> My character's having the time of his life. All right, that was sick. I'm glad we did that. But yeah, we did it. Woohoo! And I think I've got a new item, crafting material. Yeah, that's going to give me something. The Red Prince's broken crown, I think, is what that said. Hang on, let's have a look at that. Let's actually have a bit of a look, because I like to look at this stuff. All right. Pieces of the Red Prince's broken sword. The extremities have cooled somewhat since it shattered, yet where it split remains red hot. Few know and few still believe of the one true king's great indiscretion. He thought to bridge the gap between us to bind us one to another. His folly created not a bridge, but a wedge. It is a sin to which he will never admit. I sometimes doubt even my own knowledge of it. Ah. So the one true king isn't Fae. And I'm guessing this indiscretion was he had a child with a Fae, right? To kind of, like they said, bridge the gap, right? So bridge the gap, create an heir that was Fae and whatever the one true king is. I really want to know more of who he is. Like, what is he? I have news. I have news, buddy. Oh, I went through the rock. The Red Prince has had some weird effects on me. All right, let's the go. The sky seems a bit clearer now, I think. Um, I bring news. I likely already know, but go ahead. I met the Red you're Prince. you're still alive to regale the tale. And that means... The world, this world is better without him. I see. What a shame. I had thought that the prince would... Well, no matter. Of all the king's esoteric deeds, the prince was his most compunctious. To think you've slain not just the king, but his remaining lineage as well. Truly, you are one of a kind. I would pen the tale of your glory myself, were circumstances less dire. What do you mean it's dire? That's all That's I know. All. Yeah, I'd best be off. I'd best return to the castle. All right, you do that, buddy. All right, well, that was interesting. Okay, I'm going to see you back over in La Somme where we have a book to read and we have more things to explore and probably more trauma for me to go through, but it is what it is. I'll see you there. All right, we made it back. So, first and foremost, I'm having a look at this. All right, let's have read through this book. Oh, we got some symbols. I wonder if those are important. I'm taking a photo just in case. I learnt my lesson. All right, I learnt my lesson from that god damn other thing. I'm taking a photo with my phone just in case I need that later. All right. The construction stands at an endless midpoint. Oh, this job, this endless job done at the behest of the high vaunts. Interesting. To think we once thought it an honor. If this quagmire is the wage of the honor, then I wish that I had remained only the second, or better yet, perhaps the fourth or fifth best luthier among the pen. Ooh, what is a luthier? I fear my cohorts will drive me mad. This architect is a fine pen. His, he keeps to his figures and he keeps away from mine. Best of all, he speaks only when called by the task. But this so-called maestro, he speaks in such riddles. One ear on you and one on Ifa's song, or so he claims. Funny, I've spent my whole life among songsters and bards, and the only ones who claim to hear the world song are the mad ones. Wherever his ears are tuned, his mouth stays on the move. Truly, his voice is only at rest when you finally have need of a direct answer. And the vaunts are... The vaunts are scarcely better. Their mumblings of piety and duty to balance and whatever else when all I need, really need is to know... <laughs> when all I really need to know <laughs> is how soon the large drum will be prepared that I might do my part. I know I should be patient. I know this that this music box we build, or is it a building that we fill with music? It is for a greater good. The beast, this ravager, the workers call it. I gather it has had its feast of soldiers. It is starting in on the villages. I know it must be stopped. I know this tune of the vaunts is thought to do the job. In order to soothe the creature, this harp we build must be made to play with that which the infernal maestro refers to as the beast song. They tell me we will go down in history. I care not. They tell me lives will be saved. I, I cannot pretend this does not move me. But I swear if these old pan keep at their arguments, the life that needs saving will be mine or theirs because I may yet break my loot over their heads. I, I like this, this person's personality. <laughs> it works. The final construction was completed, a half moon gone. We were stuck in cycles of endless tuning, load adjustment, tuning, stream pressure, tuning. It seems it would never end, end even up to last night. We had just supped and many among our company were as yet dragging the crusts of bread about the border of the bowl as the maestro did discourse endlessly, as you always, 
I began to doze. All at once a terrible sound rose from the wilderness, a howling. It was a beast. The beast. This very ravager. And look, there's a little bit of a faded drawing over there. Nothing in the stories can repair you for it. For one thing, the size, completely out, out of keeping with the legend, and the teeth. The creature fell upon our guard, and I am unashamed to say that I did not linger to ascertain their fate. I ran. We all ran. I do not know what possessed me to head for the Great Harp. I acted on instinct, as they claim one does in times of great stress. To my horror, the beast eschewed all other courses and pursued me. Born aloft by this instinct, or perhaps by fate itself, I found myself before the mechanism. It was still primed from the tuning. I pulled the lever. The beast song rang out pure and true. It was just as the old buggers promised. The beast fell asleep. We saved, if not all. Well, we saved most. I would have thought this wouldn't be an opportunity to open the beast's throat, but the vaunts forbid it. Something about the balance in the forest and the footsteps of the doe. A moon ago, I might have scoffed, but then again, these vaunts have a knack for truth-telling. My uneaten body is testament. Let them solve the what next on their own. Ooh, so interesting. Again, I love this shit. All right, so we have got like a harp or something that they were building. I don't think I can get through here. So they, they built a big music mechanism. And these songs would essentially help soothe the Ravager, um, which they really desperately needed. Now, I wonder if I can find this mechanism. I feel like it's important. Yeah, look at this. I think this is the mechanism. Let's go up here. Have a bit of a look around. My head is on a swivel. And so, yeah, the they forbid the destruction of the beast because it's important to the balance. And the balance on Yesha is the most critical thing. Critical? Critical thing. Okay, that's our main dungeon. Alright, good. We know where that is. We're gonna keep going back this way. I haven't explored enough yet. Ooh, you can hear a song. Hi! What are you playing? To me, friend Paxultek. Hi! I am here. Oh, hey, you're not infected or anything. Friend Hello! Friend Paxultek, it returns. Wait, have I been here before? Of course. Many seasons ago, Paxultek and I spoke of songs and... Uh, ah, of course. Ah, uh, the Traveler. It is not I'm guessing the that's from the Paxultek. first game. Forgive me. The horns, uh, it does not have them. The horns? <laughs> a new friend then. Hmm? So what brings it to beleaguered Yesha? I need to find a powerful creature. Truly? Then it treads the very path it seeks. The ancient temple was built to imprison such a beast. It I'm guessing that's the Ravager. As its lair. Alas, the great water heart which tales tell once opened the temple has been shattered for an age and an age. There is no hope without its song. Yet beware, friend Paxultek, for the Ravager has been killed before. It's been killed there before? There is none more powerful than that which shakes off death. So this thing like really don't care about leaves. death at all. The great wolf, the Ravager, decimated our people. It was said that it could not be killed, for to do so would upset the balance and bring upon us even worse calamities. So the heart was fashioned to soothe the beast. Okay, so this is what we read sake. in the story. And soothe it did, but only for a time. And this is where the story ends, the where beast it worked. Escaped, silencing the harp in the process, ending its song. For long and long. The beast Could it be used to, partial to music or did appease before it? the corruption took hold. For long and long the musicians kept it appeased. But now it gains strength from corruption and layers in what was once a prison. I think perhaps uh, okay. it knows it can no longer be tamed. I what see are you hope, doing here? friend Baxultek. Yaisha is broken. Corruption waxes while the tree wanes. The balance groans in pains of birth. Yet through it all, the song of Aphir has hung in the air. One could always hear it in the wind and water, sand and star. 
I came to the temple hoping to hear its melodies once more, not on the wind, but in plain truth, as it was meant to be. Alas, I fear the song is lost forever, destined to live in memory alone. All right, where are we off to? Oh, my, my man's back to the flute. Keep playing that. It's beautiful. And so music is obviously a massive part of Yaisha... Yaisha? Culture? Who's here? Okay, these things are really hard to hit with a bow because they wiggle. So music is a big part of their culture. Not just from a, like, obviously a cultural standpoint, but from a necessity standpoint because it helps with things like the Ravager and harming it. And so it's important in several different ways. And I love that. They've got an actual... There's like a fully developed culture here. It's not just the world. There is a culture here. There's something you can really latch onto to understand about this world and its people. I love this. And that, this has got to be one of the biggest things I absolutely adore about games. Like, obviously, gameplay has got to be good, but an interesting world. An interesting world with bits of story you got to kind of put together. What are these? Dough? Is that an enemy? I don't know if I want to kill any of these deer. Hi, I'm gonna leave you be, alright? Alright, you you go on, alright? I don't know if I want to kill any of the deer. It feels like a bad thing to do. Or the elk or whatever they happen to be. Not to mention I love Princess Mononoke and uh, Yakul, if anyone is aware of that. Uh, the big red elk in there. Absolutely adore him. So do not want to hurt anything that even remotely resembles him. Okay, we got... Oh, there's there's a whole section. I think this loops back... Oh, look, there's something I've missed over there. So this loops all the way back around. Okay, interesting. Maybe we can open up the pathway then. I'm going to do Here that. Go. If there's nothing interesting over this side... Get out of here. I saw you. I love that too, that the enemies are just in the environment. You can spot them if you're smart enough. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to quickly check this place out. If there's nothing interesting, we're going to head back. I'm going to see if we can maybe figure out the music box. Hi. Right. Okay, we've leveled up the hunter a little bit more. Get out of here. Okay, I think we've got a lot coming in. Yep, 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 yep. Sorry. Thank right you. Head on a swivel. I'm expecting a more serious enemy to come in. Yep, there it is. Okay, we got a more serious enemy coming in. Let's back up. Try and get a read on where it is. Yep, there it is. I see you. There we go. Oh, yep. Forgot that that's a thing. Okay, yep. I got to remember that that happens. There we go. Right there. Right there, weak spot damage, we got it. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Okay, let's have a look at this. So, da, 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 that da, looks da. important. Okay, so I'm trying to think about this. So, it's got different symbols in a different order, and then it has like lines between them, I'm guessing indicating a gap. That's my thought process. Let's give that a pull. Okay, didn't like that. I misunderstood something. Alright, well, I've tried a bunch of things. Um, maybe I just need to kind of move forward. I think I've got it right, though, like the sustained notes and such. Um, okay, how do I get over there? Um, okay, well, I guess we'll go through this main, this main dungeon. I don't have any other ways forward. I'm guessing that is going to open up the pathway to that spot. I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out. So I'm going to head through here, and uh, we're going to see what we're in for. There's no side dungeons. I've explored everything, except this section up here, which I can't get to right now, I don't think. Faithless Thicket. Oh, yeah. Power level 12. I'm okay. This feels fun. Let's start investigating. I think I saw things moving back over here. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, that's just a doe. Or, a, or an elk. Or whatever these things are. Wait, what are you... Whoa! Hold on! Excuse me, bitch! 
Okay. So the creatures are going to attack me now. I guess this is like what happens when the balance is out of whack. Huh? Who's that? Oh, yep. Hi, buddy. Get out of here. Okay, we'll take care of that one. Okay, we're going to just try and investigate. I'm hoping that's something that lets us know what this place is. Um, okay, so we can go this way. The sage stone? Hang on. Uh, sage stone. Increases earned experience by 10%. That is sick! Oh, when I want to level up certain classes quickly, that's going to be absolutely stellar for that. All right. Beautiful. I mean, 10% isn't a ton, but 10% ain't nothing either. Hello. This seems... What is that? Okay, now this is really making me think of Avatar, like James Cameron's Avatar. I never finished my point in the last video because I got interrupted. But like the, the trees that let you connect to Awa. Is that the, is that the, like, basically the spirit of the earth or whatever it's called? That's really reminded me of that. Oh, that music. I don't like that. Okay, hang on. Let me just make sure there's nothing down this way. Come back, you little bitch. Okay, you know what? Give me my gun. Oh! Get the hell out of here! Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Can we all stop the rolling? Okay. Get out of here. Give me this trait point. Thank you. This. Huh? Oh god, it's one of these things. Fucking hell. Okay, buddy. Stay still for me. There we go. Beautiful. More symbols. Oh, that looks like another musical number. Or a musical score. What is that? Hang on, I'm gonna try and get this lined up. Yeah, that looks different to the one we're using before, maybe. Oh no, maybe it's the other way around. No, 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 that's the same one. I think just inverted. Line down that one, followed by the triangle thing, followed by that. No, no, okay, so that's the that's the same musical score that we saw, but that's so cool! You can just see that in the environment, not just in the journal. I, don't, I wonder if there's other things you can play on it. I don't know. This place is so ominous. Like, Yeisha, or Yeisha, I'm, I'm just going to say Yeisha. I'm going to keep messing up the pronunciation. Um, but, like, it definitely feels like it's infected, like it's not at its prime. But this feels actively malicious. I saw that. Thought you could hide from me. Get out of here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Okay, we got that. Oh, God, what is this? What grabbed me? What the fuck was that? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get out of here. What the hell was that? Oh! Shit. Oh, it's another one of these things. Get out of here. Get out of here. Fuck you. Okay. We got a little bit of, of uh, root rot going on, but it's not too bad. Could be worse. God damn it, that was um very confronting. Oh god, I rolled backwards. That was a mistake. You know when something's coming towards the hero and they just run in a straight line? That is exactly what I just did. Apparently, that is very easy to do. No! Get out of here. Come here, bird. Can you leave my dog? Where did you go? Are you on the ground? Okay, this place feels actively hostile. Like... I don't know how else to describe it, but the environment in this dungeon feels actively hostile. You're not safe. You're not okay. You really feel like anymore. this place does not want you here. I don't know how else to describe it. There's just this feeling. I'm just uncomfortable being here. Oh, is this just a new area? Is that That would make a lot of sense. I thought this was a side dungeon, but... Uh, or a main dungeon, but this would be... This would be a new area to explore, I guess. Oh, it's another statue. You know what that means? Something's been corrupted and is going to fight us. Here they come. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. You keep running away from me. There we go. Okay. The other reason I'm interested in the challenger, by the way, just using some melee there made me think of it, 
is just that the um, the reduced encumbrance that you've got um, on like your armor. Oh, hello. Soul Link. I'll have a look at that in a second. There's something down here. Hi. There we go. Done. Okay, that's way easier now that I know how to deal with those. The, I kid you not. The first time I dealt with one of those, I was there for a... I reckon 10 minutes. Not 10 minutes. That's exaggerating. It felt like 10 minutes, but it was more probably like maybe 3 or 4 minutes just dealing with that one enemy. Uh, purely because I didn't know how to do any damage, so my shots were doing like basically nothing. I nearly ran out of ammo. I need to be using my abilities more. I keep forgetting to use them, which is just entirely to my detriment. Okay, now there's just more of them. That's it. Whatever. That hit. That hurt me a lot. Okay, that's you down. Give me that stuff. I think that means more's coming in, though. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Okay. We're doing all right, and I tell you what, I'm feeling so comfy with the hunter now. Or at least the bow, which, you know. Why is it every time I speak about how good I'm doing with the bow, I immediately fuck up? I don't know what that is, but I hate it. Because it immediately makes me lose any authority about what I was just saying. <laughs> Beautiful. Get out of here. I am trying to be methodical. Okay, we got him in midair. Beautiful shot. Okay, I see this cluster over there. Good night. Come on, head in. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, you dodged it. I was nearly one shot, one kill. I think I just missed entirely on that. Over to you. Anything to be worried about? You know what? Just get out of here. Huh? Oh, I should have held on to that, shouldn't I? I see you ducking. That's alright. I'm honestly on the move. I need ammo. Okay. Oh god damn it. Yep. 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 Oh god damn it. Fuck you, dude. I'm so over your shit. I think you're reloading. Run back here. Run back here. There we go. Go. I'm trying to hit that weak spot. There we go. I think we got it. Beautiful. Oh, come on. Get out of here. What is this? I got a whole bunch of shit. Okay. Well, I mean, I'll take it. Hey, you're hiding up there. I don't really care about you. Ooh, what's this secret? Look at this. I figured something out. Ha! I'm now on the lookout for this shit. Where am I? No idea, but I got a chest for my efforts, which I will take. Give me all of that. And then this just kind of dropped us back down, I guess. What is this? Like a flag? Like an emblem? No idea. But we found a secret, so I'm happy about that. Hello? Is there more? Yeah! Oh, there's so many. Oh, this place is full of them. What is this? <gasps> books! So many books! Holy shit! Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. What we got? These are recipes. In a dark, secure location, place the crystal into the water and let sit from sunset to sunset. Be careful not to that no light escapes the location you have chosen, else the Ahane will descend upon you and arrest your entire household. You are likely aware of this if you have acquired the crystal in the first place. The Ahanaya will use us to harvest, but let us have none of the fruit. Slice the plums lengthwise in a deep pot, alternatively. Do not serve when the Ahanai are near. What the fuck are the Ahanai? What is this? Oh. Um, oh, different songs. The Norbear and the Brillet. In the time before the Immortals, a Norbear and a Brillet were trapped in the middle of the sea, clinging together to either end of a plank of wood. Neither could swim, and land was nowhere to be seen. The Norbear had a single loaf of bread that it had rescued. It took... Several bites of the bread when the Brillet asked, Will you please share some of your bread with me? I have nothing, and we must work together to find land. The Norbear looked at the bread and became afraid at how little was left. I can spare only a morsel, the Norbear said, for we do not know how long it will be before we are saved. And the Norbear tore a single bite of bread no larger than its nose to give to the Brillet. That's a bit mean. 
All that day and all that night, the Norbear and the Brillic kicked in the water, traveling together as far as they could. The sun rose and no land was to be seen. When the Norbear ate the next day, the Brillic said, We have been out three days and your loaf is as large as when we began. You have more than enough, but if I do not eat, I will die. The Norbear looked at the loaf and thought the Brillic foolish, for though it was large, there was clearly less than there had been the day before. If I share equally, thought the Norbear, it will only last a few more days, but if the Brillic eats a little, it will last for weeks. Surely I can find land in that time. You must not be greedy, the Norbear said aloud. If we work hard, we will soon find land, and then you can have all the bread you want. The Norbear gave the Brillet another small bite, and they swam together for another day and another night. When the sun rose the next morning, the Brillet did not ask for more bread, and the Norbear was thankful. What's more, as the Norbear finished its morning meal, it looked to the horizon and sighted the peak of a mountaintop. The Norbear sh shouted in triumph, There, you see, we have done it together! But the Brillet did not see. The Brillet was too weak to even speak. It closed its eyes, lay down its head, and slipped off the plank into the sea. The plank became unbalanced, and the one end tipped high into the air. With a cry of panic, the Norbear fell into the sea as well, leaving only a plank and a loaf of bread atop the water. The moral, none of us swim alone. All things are connected to all things. Ooh, the story. That is so cool. Hey, buddy, I haven't given you a pat in a while. Here you go. You're such a good boy. The Calamity. Yeah, so that was an extra page. I think this is the one we've done before. Oh, I love this. So that, that fable or that story with the moral is so interesting to me in just the concepts again that it kind of delves into around enough room. things that you know about this world. And so their fables all revolve around what's occurring in the world. So this one is about the balance. Because that other person was not interested in keeping about the balance, too focused on themselves, too interested in their own... Um, I'm just going to check everywhere now. I'm kind of worried I'm going to miss something. Too focused on their own self-interest. Um, it ended with them, unfortunately, both perishing because they did not think about... They just did not really consider um, the importance of making sure that everybody who needed to contribute could contribute. You know what I mean? And we got a room. Oh, I guess this was it? I don't trust that, but all right. Um, hang on, wait. Let's read this book before anything else happens. 13th day of Kolkesh, 5th season of light. I love this. The little touches with like their date and time systems. I love that. Success. I have spent days searching for the librarian's records as far back as 70 generations. They confirmed the map's authenticity. The temple was built by Ezelket Raman. That's how I'm saying it. Progenitor of the famed Raman fortune. If the treasure exists at all, I am certain it is there. It has taken me so long to reach this point. Perhaps I am being overly cautious in my research, but I must be sure. With the risks I am about to undertake. So I must copy the map in secret. None can know what I intend, and the curator watches everything. The curator is not as much of a problem as I feared. It turns out he is easily befriended and has a soft spot for crystal spice plums. So he will eat well tonight whilst I study. Here it is. The Raman Temple. I'm going to say Raman. That feels more correct. The Raman Temple is comprised of two wings, one of which will require a second pair of hands to explore. I need someone I can trust implicitly, someone who cannot use, or at least does not realize, the value of what I seek, so none of the nobility then. Each temple wing contains a variety of elaborate chambers, the walls of which are bracketed with some sort of slide weights. I have found a codex that details the mechanism controlling the weights, but I still do not fully understand their purpose. Some sort of security measure, perhaps? I... and then it just kind of ends. Let me just make sure nothing got cut off there. Oh, hello, there's a map here. You can get a more detailed version of the map. Okay, well, you know what that is. I'm cracking out my phone. Give me a second. I shall need to experiment carefully. Another reason to bring along an assistant. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, take me back. 21st Genom, 5th of Light. After many 10 days of preparations, we are ready to leave. 10 days must be like a week, maybe. Like many weeks. And they maybe have like 10 days in it. I have enlisted Moso to aid me, though he has not received full disclosure about the goal of our expedition. He believes I seek relics for academic study. He has no idea of the value of the Rama and fortune, and so readily accepted a pittance as his fee. I can trust Moso. The ghoul has served my tribe for a generation. He is dim-witted, but strong. Useful to carry provisions and guard against the dangers of the jungle, he also makes an excellent shade leaf tea. We leave at first light and must travel well into the next season. Even so, I am too anxious to rest. What lies ahead is too exciting. Seventh Landing. I have caught something from the cold, suffering fever and chills for an entire day now. It has made travel difficult, but we have arrived. With the knowledge I acquired from the Librarium, I was able to find the secret door and the mechanism that opens it. I dare not brave the temple in my current state. However, I have asked Moso to build a fire so that we might rest before attempting to breach the temple's defenses tomorrow. 
tomorrow we discover history. That treacherous ghoul! When I woke this morning, Moso was gone, along with most of my notes. No doubt he thinks to rob me of my prize, slinking into the temple before me. But my notes are not easily deciphered, and he left behind the most important ones, the fool. Without my mind to guide him past the temple's secrets, Moso's fate is sealed. Unfortunately, my condition worsens. So tired, so cold. Never have I felt sickness such as this, unless... Could Moso have poisoned me? No, he is not so clever or treacherous. It cannot be. I will rest then. One way or another, I will find him inside. Ninth landing. Curse everything. It was the curator. I found evidence of correspondence. Instructions in the campfire's ashes. Moso made a deal with him. Damn it. I must rest. Must regain my strength. I cannot let him win. And there's nothing else. Okay, I'm going to take this Endira's Endless Loop. Quest complete. That's it. Okay, hang on. I want to just compare something really quickly. I want to see this this place that we're in, in Dyra's End. Is this the temple he was talking about? Probably not. I mean... Oh, yeah. Well, this was very interesting. If I've missed something here, let me know. I've taken a photo of that map. I can't seem to compare it to anything. There's no statue in here. So what I was, wait, wait, wait. What was that entry point? What is this? Okay, that's a statue. Wait, at the entrance, there was, um, there was a big statue. Hang on, let me just try and compare the map that was in that book. Oh, you know what? I am going to go back to the front and just have a look, because what I'm seeing here, I think that was the statue at the very front. Maybe. Or maybe this is somewhere else entirely. So in this entryway... Nah, it's not the same statue. I don't know. Look, tell me if it's this place or somewhere else that this is important. Because there are a bunch of statues in here, but I don't think this is the right section. Unless... Because I, th I thought he died before he managed to make it back, unless this is where he was trying to get to. And he managed to make it through, but died somewhere further inside. I don't know. Well, so this will be the first episode you'll see post-Christmas. So I hope you all had a wonderful break if you do celebrate. I hope it was wonderful. I hope you got to catch up with everybody. All right, but we are going to leave it here for today. But we have done a lot. We took care of the Red Prince. We found a secret area where I fought a side boss again. And we've learned a little bit more about Yasha, which has made me so, so, so happy. Next episode, I feel like we will be going in. And when I leave this place, we'll be going and head to um, try and, I guess, get that uh, big mechanism working. Because I cannot figure that out unless I'm missing something. In which case, please let me know. Otherwise, as always, leave your comments and tips below. I always appreciate them so, so much. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're new so you can stay up to date with everything. But that is going to be all for today. So bye for now.